So, off to a slightly later start today. And it was raining this morning. Beautiful street art. We came to the Century Pompidou. We just got off the bus to get here. Um, Sarah is over there getting a crepe. I had a, I don't even know what it was. It was like a plank of bread with ham and bacon, but it was like, oh, it was so good. It was cold though. They serve some of their food cold that should be hot. And if it was hot, it would have been the best thing ever. But it was cold and it was still really good. Um, here's the Century Pompidou. I'll get a better view of it here in a second. We haven't used toilets like these yet. We're not quite sure how they work. Uh, oh. Okay, that's how that works. Okay. And it's free. That's interesting. That's interesting. Let's go look at this art. They have a David Hockney exhibit going on at the Century Pompidou. I love this. This is cool. And here's Sarah getting her crepe. Let's let's check in on Sarah. How's it going? Good. Do they have Oasis in a bottle? They have it in a can. Not in a bottle. Yeah. Look pretty good. They have tacos. They do. There's a subway over there. Like subway sandwiches. Paninis. Paninis. Ooh, those look good. No, I don't know. That toilet over there, the guy pressed the button and the door just like opened. It's free. Is it really? Yeah. It's probably disgusting. I'll take the it out. All right, walking up to the Century Pompidou. Birds are coming out like crazy. What is happening? Yeah, we got this Calder type sculpture. Uh, so it's it's known for its distinctive look. Love it or hate it. I don't really have an opinion. It's different from the classical type of buildings for sure. Um, it's pretty cool, I guess. I like I like any building that you know what it is based on how it looks. I'm a fan. There's not much of a line, so we're gonna go try to get in here. We've got lots of people selling stuff out here. It's a little bizarre. So here we go. Artist, and it's all part of a story. Oh, so this is the daycare baby jail. We waited about 20 minutes. It probably was 20 minutes, but it felt like a whole lot longer. Uh, at the Century Pompidou, it felt like an eternity. I wish I could show the line. Maybe I'll show it before we leave, but waited forever. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Okay, the line has gotten a whole lot longer since we got here. I think we're about to go wait in another line, though. Okay, the ticketery. All right, we're finally in. And now we're in the hamster tubes. Should we go up? Probably. Should we? You don't know that. So this line over here might be to get into where we were waiting in line. We're not quite sure, but I want to see. This is the out front of the Century Pompidou. There it is. There's a person sleeping at the top. There's always someone sleeping everywhere. Okay, we can't get in yet? No. Okay, so we're... We're basically locked in these hamster tubes. We can go up and then we can come back down and that's it. That jewelry is kind of pretty, I can tell from here. I think I need it. That line is getting longer. So we discovered that it's a line for security. And then they get in. Well, we're guessing. but. And then they get in and have to. The back. I don't know what that's for, but it was also a security line. And then they have to possibly buy their tickets. And then they have to wait in the line to even get in, which took forever. There's some big cranes back there. There's the Eiffel Tower. There's downtown. Uh, Sacre Course over there. It's kind of good views from a lot of different spots. In the, and there's the huge skyscraper that's like bigger than anything in this whole place. Oh, look at this view out here. Let's get to the end of the hamster tube. There's a few people over here. Ooh. It's pretty cool. Zoom in on the gargoyle. It's cool. Okay. okay. Do we have any history or stories that might interest us? No. So we get, went to the top and we asked how to get to the permanent gallery. She said it's one floor down. So now we're trying to figure out how to get down. 
These hamster tubes are cool, but they are not great for getting around. Um, we're just not that interested in the galleries, so I can see a lot of really cool graffiti from here, though. It excites me. Okay, that's the store. I don't know. I think the escalators are this way. We didn't. We didn't walk at all. We're lost. All right, here's the emergency doors if we need to get out in a hurry. Um, we have this emergency exit. So that's always a good sign. Let's hope we don't have an emergency. This is one of the galleries. Some Picasso's and Georges Rock. These are Matisse. Henri Matisse. And there's something in my sock that's stabbing me. Yeah, I think maybe we can, but maybe we cannot. Yeah, it's not much water in there. thing is still in my shoe. Ooh. I know. Maybe it's in my foot. Okay, here's the line now. The security line. Down. And then it goes down the sidewalk. Again, this is just the line for security. And then they have to come in and get a ticket. I'm curious how long it, the line is inside. Good long line. We're in the fourth floor now. This is the contemporary art. Upstairs was the modern art. This piece. This piece is pretty cool. It looks like a white wall with some drawings on it. Then you gotta get to the side. See the colors. These are all about color. I don't know if I am. but these are cool. Look how pretty the colors are. All right, we are wrapping up our day at the Century Pompidou and um, the line has gotten crazy long. We want to share what we saw upstairs. So this is the line just to get through security. It goes all the way down the sidewalk on both ends, I think. So you come in and then you get your tickets. There was a line when we got here for tickets, but there's ticket machines too. And then you go upstairs. Then you go upstairs and you have to wait in this line to get into the collection. However, over there, is a back entrance to this building and a security a separate security line that barely had anyone in it and they also have ticket machines up there so if you come to the century pompidou and it looks like this outside go around the building if you can i don't know how they got there it's one story up and there's a separate security entrance and a separate ticket taking place well they take your ticket at every floor okay so that's our tip of the day okay sarah um how did we feel about the Centre Pompidou? It was alright. I was expecting more modern of the art. It was all from like the early 1900s to the 1960s. Nope. It, 
some of it was. Okay, yeah, you're right. Yeah. There was some more Picasso and Matisse and stuff than I was expecting. I was expecting like unknown artists. There was some cool stuff. I found a new artist that I am gonna do some research on with all those pretty colors. Yeah, that was cool. I wanted weirder, but not you wanted weirder. Not boring weird like yeah. the canvases that are all one color. Like that's just laziness. So now we're going to do Jackson Pollock. There was Jackson Pollock here. And now we have the boutique. They just call it the shop. They don't call it the gift shop. And there is still something in my shoe, even though three times now I have taken off my shoe and fixed it. And I even switched feet. I switched which socks my feet were on. Or you know what I mean. And uh, so there's something in my foot at this point. We did not see the David Hockney exhibit because we don't really care. I don't need a basket. Okay. Here's Sarah. Here's more Hockney stuff if you need to see what it looks like. It's a swirly pencil. It's a must have. Oh, I like the Picasso pillow over there. Ooh, look at the Mondrian stuff over here. Also like one of the 